Hello friends. Today we are going to see a overview about the group policy management console. So in my previous video I have explained the order of processing of the group policy. So in this video I'm just going to explain the overview of a group policy management console. So this is the group policy management console and this settings can be gone through the administrative tools and the group policy management so this is the forest this is the name of the forest which I have so in this forest you can see the domains and the sites which we you are you are connected and the group policy modeling and the group policy results so first of all I will explain the domain so this is the domain which I have and uh, these are the policies that is the group policies and the OU which I have in my <coughs> which was applied to my domain <coughs> and since I am not having any sites uh, it was not showing any group policies which was not connected so first of all for the for my domain this is the default domain policy which was applied and these are the two settings which you can see it is called as a group policy modeling and the group policy results so what is mean by group policy modeling a group policy modeling is nothing but the overview of a user that can be got from a system or from a OU so that you can easily check the users policy settings without going to the user space I'll just show you I'm just going to the group policy modeling wizard so here just select next and here I'm just going to select the taken a taken.in as a domain and the available services is one I'm just going to select next so this is the container so I'm just going to select a container so that I can check the policy of this container it's just OU. I'm just going to select OK. So I, I just need only the containers policy settings. I'm just going to select next. So I just leave it as it is. And I'm going to check only for the authenticated users. So just select next. I'm select next. Skip everything. I'll select next. So it is processing. Just select finish. So it is generating the report. So like as I said, the policy settings of the container or a OU can be easily seen through without going to the user's place. This is one of the major advantage which was given from the Windows Server 2008, Windows Server 2008 R2 and Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2 since i am not having any policy settings which was applied to this ou it was not showing anything so this is how you can easily see the policy settings of a ou and what is mean by group policy results the group policy results is nothing but you can easily check a user's policy settings without going to the users or systems place and this includes the user local missions policy so I'm just going to create a group policies result of a system I'm just going to select next so this is where I am going so to select next so here I can also select the that is I can also view the result of the group policy of another computer so this is user level and the OU level what you are seeing group policy modeling is the user level and the OU level. and what you are seeing the group policy results is a computer level so for example if a computer was if a user was logging into a, logged in into a computer and we need to check the settings of that user who was particularly logged in into the particular machine that can be easily done with the help of the group policy results so this computer select next and I'm just going to select the current user select next 
select next since I have selected that this computer the policy settings it will be gathered only only for this computer and for this user that is a current user I'm just currently using the administrator as a user so you can see here the administrator user on the server settings will be generated here since this is the domain system it will generate some of the report and it will not show like this one so you can be confident you can see the report I think so so here you can see some of the policy settings which was given that is a form mismatch details I think so no problem in that so here you can see the policy settings this is just the summary of the policies which was applied to the system and this is the original policy settings which was given that is which was applied to this system so here you can see like that if you go here you can also see but only some of the policies are applied so you can just check with the help of the group policy modeling and the group policy results so let us go to a starter GPO so what is mean by starter GPO starter GPO is nothing but a group policy template so if you create a starter GPO and kept in a place or, or else you can save it in any other place no problem with that if you have created a starter GPU, then that starter GPU, that is the group policy template, can be easily inherited to a presently creating GPU. That is, if you have a template, that template can be used for creating another GPU easily. So, this will reduce your work so much. For the IT administrators who are all using more than 50 to 60 more than 50 servers it will be a easy job to create the starter GPUs like this so it will be more helpful for them so I'm just going to select a starter GPO test starter GPO going to select next and this is the settings which will be generated here by default uh, since I'm not having any settings I need to apply the settings administrative templates and in this starter GPO you can't make the settings like security settings password settings that setting cannot be done with the help of the starter GPO so only the template that is a basic user display settings control panel settings network settings those settings on can be only be created as a template so this will be most helpful for resting the user permission for accessing the or blocking the user interface in a system so for example I have just created a starter GPO so if I am going to create a new GPO here we can see here the source starter GPUs you can just simply inherit this GPO and if you see this GPO will inherit all the settings which will be applied in the settings so this settings I just explain it in my next video so I'm since I am just going to take only this group policy management control I will explain this settings in my next, next video no problem with that so these, these are the OUs and these are the domain controllers the default domain policy which will be created and uh, you can see that in a group policy management console so on this settings will be explained in my next video so I think you might have understood what is mean by group policy management control what are all the things you can done with the help of the group policy management console I think it will be helpful for you so so thank you for watching the video